Welcome back to Comsden. So it's the next day and there's a change of plan. We have got grass to harvest, so we're gonna pounce on this. Because strategy is, if we cut it now, we fertilize quickly, we should get a second harvest later in the summer. So plan is to, we're gonna mow four fields today. 4, 11, 31, and 35. So 4 and 11, I think we'll put it into a pit uh, for silage in the next episode. And 31 and 35, we'll probably ted them out and make hay bales. So, before we do all of that, just jumping into the tractor here, we're gonna need a mower. So, we do already have a mower, a rear mower, but I think this year we can afford to invest in a, in a front-mounted mower just to make this job a little bit faster. So I'm just cycling through the menus here. I've already had a look and I'd love to go full butterfly system, like something like this, but it's too expensive, 25,000. Uh, our rear mower as well is worth about 2,000 or something to sell. So I think we're just gonna add this front mower. It's not terribly expensive, nine and a half thousand. Seems like a good deal to me. And it'll really help out the speed at which we're traveling. Now we already own a Coon mower as well, by the way, so purchasing a front mower from Coon as well, just a nice little uh, brand match. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to race down to the cow farm, grab the rear mower, and then we'll head up to the dealership to grab the new one. Okay, we're here. And look at that. That's our brand new mower. Nice and shiny. It's gonna get lined up here, nice and straight. Let's come out at square. So this is going to be great. It's gonna be a big, big help. Last year we caught some three fields, all with the rear mower, and it did take quite a long time. So I really think this is gonna help. We've more than enough horsepower here as well to run both mowers. So cool. Let's get down to the first field. It's gonna be the the sheep pasture. Okay, we're here without any major in incident. So obviously we don't have sheep yet. So to be honest, it would be a major missed opportunity not to cut this field. Now what we are gonna do though, is we're gonna cut this field. I think we have four fields to cut. We're gonna do two hay bales and two will be going into the silage pit. So this is one of the two that will be in hay bales. So we're not quite stealing from the sheep, what we're gonna be doing is we'll cut it, tether it, and make hay bales. Then we'll purchase some sheep and we'll have the feed for them. So it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy here. So it's getting unfolded here and we'll get started. Okay. The rear mower down. And we're away. Grass work has officially started. So, I will admit there's a little bit of nervousness here that, you know, concentrating on grass work at this time of year is a little bit risky because the planting season is so narrow, it's so short, and we're already in it. So, you know, if we use this up this time now and we get bad weather towards the back end of that window, we're gonna be in a real tight spot. We might not be able to plant at all and we do not want that. But for the moment, we're gonna hold the line on this strategy, get some early grass harvest done and hopefully that will allow us to get a second shot at it later on in the, in the summertime. Oh, moving it quite nicely here. I'm loving this. Two mowers. Oh, this is going to make really light work of this job by comparison to what it was like last year. So we do have a lot of mowing to get through. So what we might do is, what we will do is, we'll time lapse the majority of each field as we go and we'll have a chat in between and towards the back end as well. So let's crack on.
Okay, we're nearly done. Oh, that was a dream. This is a dream. We're moving so much faster than we did last year. I am so pleased we purchased this uh, front mounted front mower. Nine and a half thousand. Absolutely fabulous investment. Got the last couple of bits and we're done. So that's the first of four fields that we need to do. Done. So let's get ourselves on over to the second field, which is right across the road from the main yard. There we go. Easy does it through these gateways. Always a little bit tricky. I think I was saying before that you know the strategy is to get early grass in. And to make that a reality and get the second cut, we will need to get back out here and fertilize and roll quite quickly. Now doing all of those jobs just pushes the planting back further and further it just creates risk there's a lot to do for one guy so I'm thinking I might need to call in a worker for a couple of jobs in the next couple of episodes generally I have a principle of not using workers terribly often or at least as sparingly as I can but I think it's warranted here we might leave money on the table unless we get some workers on the ground Look at this. This is a really good looking machine. Really good looking rig all over. Desperately needs a wash, by the way. Windscreen inside is in absolutely terrible state. But it's not slowing us down any. Just having a quick look around, looking at the yield bonus and so on. We did get some slurry into this field as well, so that has paid off a little bit. Okay, so let's time lapse this field and we'll catch up for a chat in a bit. Okay, second field done. Last little patch and we are finished. So, again, as I said, absolutely loving this. Having the two mowers moving really, really quickly. And next is the pig pen away to our right. You can see there's lots of patchy grass in there. I don't think the yield is amazing. We did cut it last season as well. It didn't get a huge amount of bales out of it. But we will cut it. It would be a missed opportunity otherwise. So what I might do is let's get unfolded in the field. Uh, we'll just get through the gate here. I don't think we'll time lapse this field. We'll probably just get it done nice and quick and we'll catch up just to cover the last field. Okay, done. Three or four, done. So we're off to the final field, which is the little one we purchased near the cow farm last season. So it's not exactly a huge field, but 
I'm gonna get down there and get cutting. Okay, tight gateway. As always, I was having a think as I was running around the last field. We will need to fertilize these fields somehow. Now, fertilizer is so expensive. I think I might mulch the grass instead because after you've cut the grass, it will automatically have a 50% fertilization. Um, and to secure the second 50, you can either fertilize or you can run over with a mulcher. Now, the mulcher is a lot smaller, but given the price of fertilizer, I think it'd be a lot cheaper to run over all of it with the mulcher. But in any case, that's a decision we'll probably have to make in a couple of episodes' time. So, this is a small field. It won't take very long. Uh, we'll time lapse it and we'll catch up at the end. that's it that is all the mowing out of the way for now it's all four fields done so next couple of episodes are going to be extremely busy so we've got to tether out two of the fields and row all four of them then we're going to bring two of them into the the silage bit and bail up the other two and somewhere amongst all of that, we're going to have to get the fertilizing done for the next harvest of the grass and get all of the crops planted as well. I'm not sure how we're going to find the time to do all of this in March. We are playing one day months. We might need to get a worker on the ground. I think it's going to be absolutely hectic in the next, certainly in the next two months. So I think we'll leave this episode here and thank you for watching we'll catch up with the next one